Hey guys, what's up? I'm Ash. And I'm Mondo. It's good to see you guys again. It's been a while. You guys are probably sitting there thinking, Ash, Mondo, what the fuck? I can't eat this. I can't make this in my kitchen. What is this shit that you're giving me? Life has been pretty interesting uh, for the past, like, what, two months or so? Yeah. I started a new job. Yay! Yay! And I've decided that I'm going to enter a kettlebell competition. Ooh. So what does that mean? That means that my diet requirements have changed and I don't have any recipes for it. Every recipe that we show you in a video is, we're eating that, like we don't waste food. Mm -hmm. That's what we're eating. So I needed some time to get together and come up with some new recipes. It's coming, they're working. I've got some really good ideas coming. So for now we thought we'd entertain you with some cool shit that we're doing. We went skydiving. Yes! And that was so cool. Everyone we talked to that we said we were gonna go and we said, yo, you should come with the group discounts at a big, big party, you should come. They're either like, fuck yeah, or no, no, no way. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> if that's something you ever thought that you maybe wanted to do, go do it. Most recently, we decided to get tattoos. Yes. I have seven tattoos. I am no stranger. But I only have one now. So this was my first tattoo. Who did our tattoos? My cousin Arcy down in Toledo is a very, very good artist and a very, very good accomplished tattoo artist as well. These tattoos mean a lot to us for a number of reasons. The first one being it's an original art piece done by Armando's cousin Arsenio and they're truly, truly beautiful pieces. We both fell in love with these pieces the second that we saw them posted on Facebook. Yeah, it was kind of love at first sight with both of them. We're like, we gotta have that. Another reason why these tattoos mean a lot to us is because they speak to us very personally in the sense that they fit together as a set, but they complement each other as opposites. Yes. So it really spoke to who we were and who we are as people and the fact that it's original artwork from my family and that it was done on our skin by a family member really meant a lot. I had told RC years ago that he was uh, the first person that was going to be allowed to put ink in my skin. And how about that it was his own original artwork? How does that make you feel? I'm not gonna lie, it kinda makes me feel a little teary-eyed even right now just thinking about it. It was a really special moment, it was really cool. I really, really love the sugar skull element into these tattoos. Um, death has been a constant force in my life, if you want to say, and I, I really, 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 I can't emphasize this enough, admire the tradition of celebrating the dead versus just mourning it. And I find it ironic that my culture, my Hispanic culture, celebrates that and that she's been able to come into my life and kind of fit everything that she's been through into a family and an understanding of death that is very celebratory and uh, we really like that it's it's a very special thing that we get to share uh, culturally spiritually and on an individual level too what do you like about tattoos armando i really like the fact that it's permanent that your skin becomes a canvas for an artist. It's quite profound. I love tattoos in the sense that it's really fucking cool that your body can be a canvas for a piece of art and that there is art that is designed to only live on the body. That you get to be that vessel that shows this art to the world. Like you are the canvas hanging in a museum, except you can walk around and do whatever you want. Overall, how was your first tattoo experience? It was pretty intense. So um, I was expecting a lot of pain, different pain than what I experienced. It was more discomfort. Like I remember saying to, to RC a couple of times, that really doesn't feel good, but I'm not gonna make you stop. I just like looked at him in the face and was like, ow! <laughs> this was not my first tattoo experience, but I'm happy to talk about my first tattoo. I got a little base clef heart 
on my ankle for my 18th birthday. I decided I was going to buy it for myself. And I did not have the same experience that you did. <laughs> like the one on my ankle felt like I was being snapped with 50 rubber bands that were also on fire. I'm happy that I have it. I do not care to get another tattoo on my ankle. So Ash, with your experience, do you have any tips for people who do want to go through this process? Actually, I do. Hmm. Think about what you want. Think about where you want it and practice covering that up. Second, we're all about saving money, right? How do you save money on a tattoo? Don't. They're, so. they're expensive for a reason. You want somebody that has a lot of experience. You want to have somebody who's a very, very good artist and they have bills to pay too. So research your artist, look at their artwork, look at their style and see if it fits into what you want. And don't skimp on price. Save for that. Not at all. Save, 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 save and save. pay your artist. Pay your artist. My third piece of advice is make sure that it's something that really means a lot to you. Many, many years ago, I had the wild idea that I would do some sort of Japanese script on my shoulder just as like a joke. <laughs> Cliche. Right? Um, I am very glad that I did not go through with that. That was a drunken evening that the tattoo parlor just turned me away. They said, no, we're not going to do it. <laughs> you got turned away because you were drunk? Because I was too drunk to get a tattoo. Uh, Never get a tattoo from a guy who would give it to you while you were drunk. Correct. <laughs> Tip number four, don't ever, like, just walk right out. I like garlic, which is the kanji I was going to get on my arm. No? Okay. Really think your tattoos through. Yeah. Like, think on, six months is a, like, if you still want it after six months, I mean, the odds are in your favor. If you like the artwork that you saw in this video, hit up 2720 Tattoo in Toledo, Ohio. The boys down there are a really great crew. They're beautiful artists and they do beautiful work. If you wanna see what other kind of shit we've been up to, watch our videos and even subscribe. It's free, like why not? Yeah, free entertainment. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Ash. Hmm? I'm not Ash. <laughs> hey, stay with Sorry. me, stay with me, stay with me.